see from there. I've got a little bit of smoke coming down from the bottom, so I'm kind of curious on that. So let's see what's happening. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, like I said, I have a lot of projects to work on for the winter time and stuff, and this is one of my first ones I want to get started because uh, it's kind of rainy outside, it's kind of cool, it's kind of cool in the shop just a little bit. Uh, I got the heater on out there right now, but uh, what I wanted to go ahead and do is test my uh, pan heater. Okay, like I said, I bought a little pan heater, and what I would like to do with this is uh, what I'm planning on doing is I want to see how hot I can get oil by just using this one pan heater. Hopefully it's big enough. It's 150 watts. They say it should be, you know, should be enough. But I, I want to find out, just make sure in case I don't have to add like two of these or something like that. Or just get one bigger one. But anyway, uh, the plans are is go ahead and uh, put oil in here. Okay. And put, I'll probably put two, three quarts of oil in here. And we'll put this at the bottom of the pan. Simulate that's on your oil pan. Right. And... Uh, just let it sit here and heat up. We'll monitor it, monitor its temperature, and see how hot we can get the oil, okay? If it gets it hot enough, what we think is going to be hot enough, what we're going to do next is add some methanol to it. And you'll see, hopefully, if it gets hot enough, you'll actually see the methanol being evaporated out of the oil. So, which would be kind of, I think, a kind of cool uh, uh, experiment to do. So, uh, with that, uh, let's go ahead and start adding oil to this. And let's get this uh, project started. Okay. Um, I got some shelf. I had on the shelf over here some oil that's on the shelf. I haven't used it for quite some time. Uh, it's been there for a few years at least. So uh, uh, basically, I'm going to, it's going to be kind of a mix match of some oil that's in here and stuff. I got some VR1 stuff here. Not too sure I want to use that stuff just yet, but I got some Vaveline stuff here. Uh, these are full synthetics this is like 10 weight 30 zero weight 20 but I don't think it really matters what weight we're gonna put in here or any of that good stuff this is just an experiment there's nothing really fancy about it other than me just adding some oil to it so uh, like this one here this is maybe a quart and a half so all I'm gonna do is go ahead and get that added in here okay so that's, uh, let's see how deep that is. That's all I'm trying to do. Okay, that's maybe an inch and a half of oil that's in there right now. Uh, like I said, we'll probably add more to it. But for right now, uh, to get the experiment started, we'll use this. I'll go ahead and get this uh, pad, just uh, put it on the bottom of it, and let's get started. But anyway, it's shown about 77 degrees uh, up here toward the top, 75, then 70, then 71, and 66. So back this part of the pa or the pan is the coolest. It's also where the most oil is actually concentrated. The, the pan is kind of sitting like this right now, or like this, how you want to say it. So there's a lot of oil at one end of it. It's probably almost at least two inches uh, thickness there. Uh, the pad is more kind of toward this side of it where there's not as much oil but still there's plenty, plenty of oil there. Okay, um, while that's over there heating up and stuff like that, I was doing, going to do a quick little experiment here to hopefully to show you uh, what we're trying to do over here, but I'm going to do it kind of more exp expedited manner. Okay, so what my, what my plans are, I'm going to take a quart of oil, stick it in this pan right here, okay, Stuff is really thick. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, uh, I got some oil that's in, that's in there. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is um, I'm going to take uh, some methanol. Okay. Got some methanol here and what i'm going to do is just going to i'm just going to go ahead and pour that in there okay just kind of pretend we got a lot of methanol and oil okay and you'll see what it does it does not like that at all 
you can see it kind of I just kind of agitate it okay doesn't really mix that well I mean if you see one of my videos that I showed when I took all the the oil in my car had all that methanol in it this is nothing compared to what came out of the car okay so anyway the methanol is actually in there okay you can actually see it as it moves around you can see how it kind of shiny and stuff so what I'm going to try to simulate I'm going to take a a propane torch and heat the sucker up then you'll see this methanol actually go away you can see it now it's starting to bubble okay I took another temp reading we're about 88 degrees in here right now uh, it is slowly get warmed up and stuff not as quick as what we did the other experiment back here but this is uh, slowly getting warmer, so it is doing what we're thinking it should be doing. Uh, so, and we're not quite an hour into the since we started, but we're getting close to it. So I expected about an hour should be over, being pretty close to 90 at 100 degrees in it. So anyway, uh, it is making progress. So uh, we'll just keep uh, let it get hotter and hotter and. Uh, uh, and go from there so another thing I just got done doing I went ahead and pulled some oil out of the oil pan that I had over here that I was doing the experiment on with um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the oil out. I'm gonna leave it, leave it set okay and see if there's any separation of the oil and the methanol in here just to give you an idea of what it looks like and stuff I should have did a sample before I put it in so you can see how much methanol is in there and vice versa so anyway um, it's still pretty warm that the oil is it's cooling down quite rapidly but anyway uh kind of give you an indication of if there's any methanol in here and stuff and how it separates okay another experiment i'm going to do just to show you um put a quarter oil in here it's the same what's in the pan okay approximately have the same amount of methanol that's over in the pan in here hopefully it all fit in there uh as you can tell i mean it's uh it's all oil. There's, I don't see anything methanol in there, any of that stuff, any stuff laying on top. So what I'm going to do is pour this methanol in there. Okay. Just going to let it sit there for a second or two. And then I'll try to show you. Right now, methanol is almost up to the ridge. You can see that? It's kind of sitting there on top. Okay. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to actually mix that in. So let me get a screwdriver here okay so I'm gonna kind of mix this in okay this is similar to what be doing in your motor as the oil and methanol mixes together right hope I don't make too big a mess here okay get it all mixed in okay uh, just you see a lot of a it just looks uh, disgusting <laughs> but anyway uh, now you can see it's kind of murky okay it's all mixed together right what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit and if it takes all night I'm gonna just let it sit here and we're gonna see what happens with that mixture okay as you can tell it's all uh, yucky okay now as you can tell over here this one here this is one where we had methanol in it. I took a sample of it to see if I had any methanol in it. As you can tell, it's, it's pretty clear. Okay, I left this overnight just to give an idea what the methanol does to the uh, oil. You see somewhat settled down here. Okay. <laughs> Looks funny, got a little dot there on the top. Um, not too sure why. But you can definitely see the separation on it but you can see what it does with oil it really uh, makes almost like a milkshake consistency so uh, but yeah that's what it does just give you an idea it's about 150 160 that's about the time that methanol starts to really start to come out of the oil so just want to give you an update on that so now you can pretty much see that's just oil that's in there. The little bubbling is just from the heating of the oil itself from the bottom of the pan. Got pretty warm. But, okay. Um, 
that's the same oil that was had all the methanol in it as you can see uh just a little bit of bubbles in it but uh, this this is still pretty warm uh but anyway you can tell i mean you can pretty much see through it now i mean it's uh very little methanol if any that's in there or not but yeah it is possible that you can actually take the methanol out of oil so anyway thought you'd like to see that cool little project okay give my impression so far we're going on almost two hours get really close two hours uh the last reading i got was uh about 100 degrees i got 103 uh, and we are still staying within that. It looks like it dropped down just a little bit. Um, not too sure what's going on with that. But uh, maybe that was just a fluke what I had in there before. So I'm just kind of circling around the, the temperature probe just to see uh, where the hot spots and where the cold spots are at and stuff like that. Most of the stuff I had in there uh, are hovering right, you know, within the, um, the 99. That was a 99 on that one there. It's in, in, it's in the mid-90s degrees range right now. Um, I thought it would get warmer than that and stuff. I wish it would get warmer, but uh, I don't think we're going to get there. Uh, now, the only thing I know that we are doing might be different on the car is um, I'm, I, I got it just kind of resting against the pan. It's not really bonded to the pan. Maybe I'm not getting a good transfer there. It's on a piece of wood right now, kind of pushing up against it. Wood shouldn't absorb that much of the heat. So there's no difference on the car if I had that on there, plus my blanket on there. Uh, so it, that blanket is just going to help keep the heat in there a little bit longer. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm impressed with it, but I'm hoping to get a lot warmer than that. I might have to go up in the wattage of the, of the pad. This is 150 watt. Maybe we need a 250 watt to get the temperature where we need it at and stuff. So like I said, it's been running for two hours just to get it this warm. Uh, I have a feeling on a really cold, cold day or cold morning start and stuff, uh, it would take that much longer to heat up. So uh, so with that, um, I think uh, uh, it's a good little experiment just to see uh, how much, how warm we can get it. So anyway, another interesting side note is this wood temperature um, is over 120 degrees on this wood temperature. So I know some of the wood is being absorbed. Some of the temperature, uh, instead of going all in the pan, some of it's going down here. So I think that's why uh, that might not be the most accurate uh, experiment, but I think that's where some of the heat's going. Instead of it's going in the pan, some of it's actually going right here in the wood. So, uh, so like I said, this element might still be pretty good if it just stuck on the pan and don't have to worry about pushing the heat up into the pan as well as pushing it down into here. In fact, I feel this thing on. It's probably pretty darn warm. Yeah, this thing right now, we're looking at 300 something degrees on. I mean, 330, 330, 330, and you hear it kick off. So, like I said, produces a lot of heat and it kicks itself off. So, um, that's good to see, good to hear. So, what I'm thinking is um, we might go ahead and use this. Uh, and I think we're quite be good to go. So it's not a failed experiment, but something we I wanted to do anyway, just to see. Okay, let's go ahead and recap uh, what I did. Okay, what I did is uh, the first thing I did, kind of bring it over here. Um, we put oil in here, put the pan heater on it. See how how long it takes to heat up oil. I just want to know if this pad's going to suffice for my needs. And so far, coming on the fence, it will, but it won't. So uh, it is doing a good job. I just wish it was doing a lot better job. So uh, with that, uh, I'm still, uh, the jury's still out what I want to do with this pad. Maybe get a bigger pad, not too sure. The other experiment we did, we added uh, one quart oil, put a lot of methanol, mixed it up, heated it up, got the methanol out, and I proved it to over here on the bench. I had a, a container filled with oil and stuff. This one's empty, but... Uh, the previous uh, pictures I had, you can see it perfectly clear. There's no methanol in it. The other experiment I'm doing, I actually added a quart of oil, put the same amount of methanol in it, mixed it up. You can see what it looks like. So now as you can tell, it is separating somewhat at the very bottom. It's taking a long time, but you will never get the methanol out there unless you get it hot enough, the oil temperature up hot enough to get that methanol out. So, um, 
So anyway, that's the experiments that I wanted to show you, what it looks like, and all that good stuff. So uh, with that, uh, if you like what you see, hit that like button, and please subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate it. And if you have any comments about anything that you saw here, or wish I would have done differently, or just comments in general, please leave the comments down on my uh, on on the video as well. I really like to to hear from you guys and know that uh, uh, what I could have done differently or not. So anyway, with that, uh, until uh, the next project.